There was once an ancient Alexandria in the days of Ptolemy, heir of Alexander, a historian, Xenophon, and his beloved wife, Hera. They dwelt in a great columned house, there hard by the delta of the Nile. Near the great lighthouse it was, which they would watch by day and by night. And they had a daughter, a beloved child, Clea, they called her. Well, Clea was pale-skinned. Men said her skin was the colour of moonlight, that it bore witness to Persephone, or perhaps to Isis. And her eyes were as black as Persephone's tears. And all the Egyptians would mutter, She's not long for this world. Hurt I her sort are but guests in this world of ours. For they're always their car hugs them back and back to the goddess from which they came. But Xenophon said, Nonsense! And his wife, Hera, hoped that it was not true. And Clea grew young, older and stronger. Until it was, she was nearly twenty-one. And when she became twenty-one, although she had never had a, a husband, she would become a soul in her own right. For in those days, the Greeks believed that souls come to those who are not married only later in life. But war is a terrible thing. And the wars of Ptolemy against the Cyclude and against the Parthians waged fast and furious. And on the back of war comes black fever. There came a year then when the fever struck in Alexander and Clea died right on the eve of her 21st birthday. But because she was not old enough to have a true car, a true soul, those that knew took her and laid her in the tombs they reserved for infants, a boneyard full of anonymous graves. And her mother Hera could only mourn in vain.